guys, welcome back to my Cypress Automation class from Zero to Hero. And in this lesson, we will discuss how to find any web element on the web page, what tools Cypress have for it, and the ways how you can travel through the DOM. By the end of this lesson, you will have a clear understanding of how to use Cypress tools, and you will see how actually easy it is to find the web elements on the web page. So let's start with uh, creating a new test. It second test and uh, we want to run only this test so we will type dot only and from the previous test let's copy these three lines of code uh, which is related to visit our application select the forms and select form layouts let's copy it here and let me just collapse this test so we will work with this one. Let's review a few scenarios. Let's say you want to find the locator for the web elements sign in. Right click on the button and we see that we don't have ID over here. We don't have any other unique identifier because we have other buttons on the page and we have another sign in button. So the best way uh, to do the things in Cypress, as I mentioned before, is to add the own locator. And because we are running our application in the local host, we uh, can easy to do that. We need to find some identifier, maybe by the class names or something, and search this code in our Visual Studio. So let's try this. So let's try copy this value for the class. Click here and search this code no results found let's try search by this guy type submit okay and we found a few sections of the submit and let's check what we need i think this one so use the grid using the grid and this is our section using the grid so this is the email this is our two radio buttons, uh, some disabled option, and this is button submit. So here we need to add our own cater and let's name it data cy equals to sign in button. And you see on the right side, our application is recompiling automatically. So let's close this. And when we click on the right click and inspect the element, we will see that right now we have data CY sign in button. This is how you add locators to the web elements when you need it. So let's type it CY get. We're searching web element by the attribute data CY. sign in button another way to find the web element is by the text name so we have sign in button number one and we have sign in button number two so let's check this and see what happens Sci, and uh, if you noticed before we already use this method to find the element by the text is sign dot contains sign in Side that contains and let's go to our Cypress and try to run this test. Let's see what happened. It's running the test and it failed. Uh, time out trying expecting find element side in but never did. Let's check why and that happened. Right click inspect and that happened because the sign in is written the capital S and all the uh, all other letters is lowercase as you see but we see on the screen that sign in is all capital that is because of the style sheets which were applied to this text when you are using text as a locator always look into the DOM to find exactly the spelling of the text you are trying to find so let's go back to our code and fix this site contains by sign in and it's successfully found you see the sign in button is found but 
As you see, our web page has actually two sign in buttons, and SciDot contains method work in a way that it will find first match on the web page and use that match as a found locator. If you need to find the second sign in button but text, what can we do? We can use a second parameter which SciDot contains except and use uh, additional attributes. So let's check this sign in button and see what difference with the first sign in button. Obviously this is a color and any other attributes can be different. So let's check this. So this button has status warning and this button has attribute status primary. So this is the difference and we can use the difference of this locator to find this web element. So let's do this. Sci that contains again it's sign in button but we want to find the web element which has a warning status as well and we can add the second parameter into the contains is attribute name warning and let's go back to the Cypress and see what will happen. And you see that right now it's found the second sign-in and it is highlighted. So this one is first sign-in, this one is second sign-in. So the right way to read this would be like that. Uh, you say, hey Cypress, find for me the web element with the locator attribute name status and value warning which contains sign-in. So moving on, the next example of finding the web elements is to travel through the DOM starting from some unique elements. For example, let's say we want to find this sign in button, but this button don't have a unique identifier. For example, status warning or type submit cannot be unique identifier and we don't see any IDs over here or classes or attribute names. So in order to find this sign-in button, we need to find the first unique ID in this section, something unique in this section, and then travel to sign-in button. So let's check email. In email field, we have unique ID, input email three. So let's use this. Sci.get, find element by id good so we have the locator for the uh, email but we need actually the sign in button right and this sign in button located below how to find exactly where it is so we cannot go travel down from this input element we need to travel up to the parent element so you see how the section above is highlighted now we are on the div section now we go in the form section, here we go. And now the form is highlighted for us and sign in button is within this form. So what we have to do is to travel up to the parent element form and find this element. So let's do this and chain our next command that and find a parents element with HTML tag name form. Let's go back to our Cypress and see that, yes, form is found. Okay. After that, we want to find child element with HTML tag button. But we cannot use get. If we will use get dot button, what happened? You see next to the button is number eight. So Cypress found for us all buttons on this page. And this is not what we want. We want to find only the button which is related to that particular section. And how to do that is to use another method in Cypress called find. So we have a sci get input, then we travel to the form and then we find a button. Let's go back to the Cypress. And here we go, button is found. 
let's add one small assertion should contain sign in so we did the assertion that this button contains sign in okay we found sign in and then let's say we want to continue this travel and then find a small checkbox this one how to do that so right click on this checkbox and let's travel through the dome go up 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 going up we can now travel back to the form section let's do this we can parents form again and find what we need to find over here is right click this is our NB checkbox and let's type click Okay, let's go back to our Cypress and see what happened. Here we go. So let's go one by one and you will see in the uh, Cypress runner what happened. So step number one, we found ID. Then we traveled up to the parent element form. Then we went down to the button. We verified that this button has sign in text. Then we traveled from this button up to the form again. Then we found the web element NB checkbox tag and then we clicked on this checkbox and Cypress is showing us that this checkbox is selected. So this is how you travel through the DOM and uh, this is how you chain the sequence of the events. So you start with sci.get and then chaining the events one by one. You cannot do stuff like sci.find for example i don't know button you cannot do things like that and you will see the error oops looks like you are trying to call a child command before running a parent command find method is only to find the child elements inside of the parent element uh, parents method is to locate the parents element from the current key element which you are in and uh, let me show you another good example of using sci.contains how to specify the scope similar to the example which we discussed before let's say you want to select email field for this section but your email does not have any unique identifier like let's imagine that and the only unique identifier you have over here is just the unique name for each of the box using the grid, basic form, block form, or horizontal form. So what we can do is to find the horizontal form first and then to find email. But if you will click, make a right click on horizontal form and highlight it, you will see that horizontal form section where the header is located is just the header for the entire form the input field is located on the next level uh, so this is nb card header and nb card body is a sibling element for nb card header so in order to go to that section we should travel to the nb card first and then find the email field this one so one way of doing this is to find horizontal form, then select parent NB card, and then find email. But another way is a shortcut, is to provide the second parameter inside that contains, which will make for you the same thing. So, so you will type side that contains, you provide the text, which is horizontal form, and you add a second parameter which is nb card and you want to find 
email right click inspect and let's say we take this type take this attribute type email done let's go back to our cypress and side that contains and it found the email it is highlighted so how to read this code is like hey cypress find nb card which contains text horizontal form and within this nb card find a web element with attribute type and value email this is how it works that's it guys for this lesson let's just summarize site.get get is searching elements in the entire dom and you chain the dot get from the sci or from any other elements find method in the cypress is to find the child elements from the parent elements find method accept the same types of the selectors which we discussed before the same as the get site.contains can find element by text and can find element by text and web selector. Site contains will find only one web elements and also site contains can be chained from any other elements. So this is it. And as you see, it is pretty simple to find the web elements in Cypress and it is much easier than building at a complex X path like in the Selenium style. So you can travel up and down in the DOM. You can find any locators. You can use any attributes or selectors for your web elements and even combine text with any selector to find the web elements. In the next lessons, when we will start writing our actual test, you will see more and more examples of how to use these methods get, find, and contains. All right, see you in the next lesson.